But it's been it's been very much either I'm finding the sweet spot or the sweet spot's getting bigger because it's going out there quite consistently. Uh, ball flight is consistent. It's doing all the things you'd want from a three wood. But I'm gonna... Yes, I've got out there at Amandware, as you can see, I'm putting these to the test, but we need some tech spec on both these products. And uh, first of all, let's look at them in terms of uh, their body shape and how that's been designed. It's all about AI again. That is the message. Fully optimized uh, is what AI has done and done it in a way that no human brain could have worked out or it took it a fair bit of time to do it. And they've come up again with individual faces in terms of the design, in terms of that heat map that you can see that I'm playing over for you now. They're looking to get some high ball speeds out of this club face and uh, we shall see if that happens. It's different materials than what we've seen in Flash and they say that we're going to see some leap forwards in ball speeds. And like I said, we shall see if that is the case or not. The interesting thing for me is, and we'll talk about uh, a summary in terms of performance, but the interesting thing for me is this goes up to seven wood, and I think it could be a very interesting product that might work well for some golfers. But that's it as far as tech spec. It's all about AI, it's all about supercomputer, it's all about bespoke design. But ultimately, let's get back over to Amandwera. How does it perform in the hands of an average golfer? So it's gone bullet straight, uh, but straight into that bunker. It's a long carry, however. So the, the standard product, which is going to uh, uh, probably appeal to the masses, is exactly what you'd expect. It's traditional in its looks from above. Um, I love the carbon crown and I love the finish. It's very, very nice indeed. Um, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of effort gone into the design underneath, I must say, but it's okay. Um, weight placement at the back. Um, again, jailbreak technology, all the things that you've already heard in terms of the spec. And again, face profile is traditional in the way it looks. It's very much, I mean, the thing is, I've got no dry ball data at this point. We'll get to it at the end. Uh, but what I like to do is test the product out in the real environment and what it does. And I've played with it, uh, as you can see, for the last uh, couple of days. And the standard product for me is so good. I mean, we, we've passed it around between a few of us, to be honest, on the tee box, and it, everyone seems to be getting on very, very well with it. That's the impressive thing to see in a, in a few different hands, and that's the all-important bit, what you think. But for me, it performs very well. Uh, there seems to be either everyone's getting out the sweet spot or that sweet spot is getting bigger because uh, everybody seems to be getting that ball away fairly easy. <laughs> because it's going out there quite consistently. Uh, ball flight is consistent. It's doing all the things you'd want from a three wood, but I'm gonna next try it off the fairway and see how easy it is to pick up this slightly shallower face on, uh, on the regular product. Hopefully you picked that ball flight up. That was the, uh, so it's a standard product. So it's 15 degrees on this three wood. And this is where there's a noticeable difference between this and the Max. I think off the tee, um, yes, there's a different ball flight. The Max is definitely higher launching again. But where for me, as an average golfer, there's a big gain to be made on the Max product is the ability to pick it up off the deck. Nothing wrong with what I've just did there, but it's a, it's a flatter ball flight. It's great on a long par five, which we're on now. Um, but in terms of coming into a green with a with a three wood in your hand or looking to get something that higher launching and just be able to pick up generally, I find the Max really does what it's intended to do. Um, 
And although, like I said, not wrong with what, what's just happened there, that's again, flown off. I don't know whether you can pick it up in terms of ball flight, but I lean towards the max in terms of what I think might be uh, a good option for many average golfers getting a bit of assistance. We know a three wood off the deck can be a tough club to play. And often you've got to push down to that five wood or something, but uh, the max at the moment does something that this doesn't. And I like it. Well, it's funny, I asked the question last time you see me, is how did it perform in the average golfer? And it was very, very good indeed. It was something that was... Uh, I've said on the previous video, and it depends which way round you've watched these, is that the Max driver did extremely well from the fairway, and this traditional three-wood in, uh, in the Maverick range, it did what I would see in a normal three-wood, in the sense that it was normal to, in terms of trajectory and launch, and I did like that in terms of the Max product, and I wish there was a combination of the two, to be quite honest with you, because ball fright from the tee, from this standard product, I'm not talking about Sub-Zero now, standard product was very much traditional and a much more penetrating ball flight, uh, and I much preferred it from the tee, and I preferred the Max from the fairway. Uh, but whether or not I can work on this sort of uh, Maverick from the fairway, be interesting to see. Dry ball data, pretty much standard stuff, to be honest with you. High 230s in terms of carry, good spin number, better launch. Like I said, I mainly played these from, uh, from the tee. So it ticks every single box, but what I like, and I've repeated it in every message, is just this idea of this bespoke club head specific design to meet the requirements of the individual golfer that might be looking to use that type of club and what they're looking for from that club. So the combination is very, very good indeed. I mentioned earlier it goes up to a seven wood, and for me, that is again a potential weapon in terms of five wood, seven wood. This kind of product in the bag, in the hands of most average golfers, is going to be something that they're only going to see benefits from, in my opinion. So for me, I'd be really interested, and I talk about this just on a very personal level on a, on a finish list, talking what I did about the launch off the fairway. I would love to have a go with a 5-wood in this, because I could see that it would be the 5-wood the standard product. I think might be a product I'd love to try and could find its way into my bag, because I'm very impressed with the Maverick range, you've got to say. Uh, this one, like I said, for little nuances, wouldn't be quite for me, but overall, stunning, stunning set of products here, and uh, well worth a try, and that ultimately is all that matters. If you're into looking at three woods, five woods, if you're, if you're in the market for them rather, then the important thing is, is get out there and go and give it a go for yourself. Anyway, that's me done. I'm going to play some more golf down here at Conway. While the sun's shining, even though it's a bit chilly, I'll see you soon.